The self-driving car test, this the classic baby carriage problem. Self-driving car rolling towards an intersection, baby carriage goes out of control, goes to the intersection. It has two choices. It can either run over the baby carriage or it can swerve off the sidewalk and kill the two elderly people. That's a premeditated choice some AI designer has to make. This is not something that actually happens. I hope that, Tim, you've never actually had to choose between running over a baby carriage and, and two people on the sidewalk, and neither has anyone else. Yeah, uh, I've it's, researched. it's obviously so an extreme it's, abstract it's, it's, example. What it is, it's a question that's morbidly obsessive, right? We're so fascinated at the idea of a machine choosing who lives and who dies. That's something we've seen in fiction for so long, that we've become really fascinated by the problem, even though it's not a real problem. It's much more interesting than it is important. If, if you want someone to solve that problem, the law already does. The law defines right of way and where you can go. Programmers are definitely going to program their vehicles to follow the law. If you don't like what the law says, then you can actually ask the policymakers to change the law. It gives them something to do. So. I work for Drive.ai, which is using deep neural networks to make autonomous cars scalable. So, for instance, we just released a video of our autonomous car driving in, in uh, the rain. Uh, we didn't have to program specific rules for dealing with rain. Uh, we use the same neural nets to deal with those situations. Um, so there's two things he brought up that I think are worth mentioning. One is the first part about the hitting the carriage. Um, I think that is kind of anthropomorphizing the car. Uh, how, how does a person end up in that situation is they don't notice something, right? Um, but with AI and better sensors and data, mm -hmm. right, we get to the point where the car does not really act like a human. It sees the person a mile away, mm -hmm. right? Um, so that is kind of a future where we can't really foresee uh, the, uh, the different types of problems that will arise.